Welcome to the finale of the Sonic Advance 3 Uncontrollable Speed Challenge. We're at the final level of the game. It is called Alter Emerald. Now, in this zone, there really isn't any levels. Like, there isn't an Act 1, an Act 2, or an Act 3. It's just this one level, and there's no, like, platforming or anything like that. It's just uh, two bosses. First, you have to fight Gemral for the fifth time, and... He really hasn't changed since his last fight. I think he gained one new attack where he goes to the center of the arena and shoots a bunch of missiles at you. It really shouldn't be a problem unless you don't have any rings. But just like every other boss fight, uh, there are plenty of rings at the start of the level, so make sure you collect a few of those before facing off Gamera. Now here is the final boss of the game. Dr. Eggman has built a giant mechanical suit and you can't actually jump up and hit him right away. You need to jump on top of his hands and then jump on him. Um, he has quite a few attacks. Sometimes he'll use his hands to destroy a part of the boss platform. Uh, don't worry, the platforms will come back after a couple of seconds so you don't need to worry about that. Um, when he does destroy the platforms, wait for the hands to come back up, jump on them, and then jump on Dr. Eggman. Uh, sometimes he'll throw out a bunch of red orbs. You can jump on top of the orbs, and that attack, you can hit him multiple times. Uh, with the other ones, you can usually only hit him once. So that orb attack is the best attack for uh, hitting him multiple times and killing him very quickly. Uh, and his final attack... He'll make his hands try to clap on you. It's very easy to dodge. Just, um, once they start to clap on you, just jump up in the air and you should be fine. As far as I know, you can't hurt him when he does the clapping attack. Um, you may be able to jump on his hands while he claps, but as far as I know, you cannot hurt him with that attack, so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, one interesting note for this boss fight is you don't need to worry about the time limit because you can't actually get to the metal uh, screen. Now I didn't mention this in any of the previous videos, but you can't actually complete this challenge. After we defeat this boss momentarily, we will go to this cutscene, and when you have the speed shoes on, Sonic will run off the platform and you will die and have to restart the stage. And there's nothing you can do about it. The cutscene is very automated, so there's really nothing you can do. You can't physically this. beat this level. And uh, I just thought wow. that this was one of the funniest endings to my, or any one of my challenges. I just thought it was hilarious. I don't know why. At first, I thought I made this. some sort of mistake. I thought that I, um, I was holding the D-pad or something, or I don't know, I thought I just made some sort of mistake. So I did it again, and then I realized, nope, that's what happens when you have the speed shoes on. And here's the ending if you don't have the speed shoes on. And uh, I just, I guess the game is programmed in a way that Sonic will, um, he just runs a set distance. So if you have the speed shoes on, it, he runs even further and he'll just run off the platform. I don't know exactly how they programmed it, but um, it's not like they did anything wrong. There's no way to get to this boss fight with the speed shoes normally, so it's not like they did anything wrong in this situation. It's just, I thought it was really funny that that's how this challenge ended. I, it, I just thought it was hilarious, and um, I, I don't know, it's just, I doubt I'll ha ever have a challenge end this way again. I mean, technically this challenge is impossible, but we beat the final boss, so that's good enough for me. I consider this a complete challenge, even though it's technically impossible. Not, it's not like the uh, Legend of Zelda Swordless Challenge where you can't beat the final boss. Here we can beat the final boss, we just... We can't beat the cutscene, to be honest. And uh, I just think that's really funny. Anyways, that is the end of the Sonic Advance 3 Uncontrollable Speed Challenge. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Uh, this really wasn't a very difficult challenge. This was one of the challenges I just like to do to have fun. This was a fun challenge, 
and every so often I like to take a break from my frustrating challenges, you know, all my Mega Mans and things like that, and I just like to do a, you know, a fun, sort of relaxing challenge. Usually they're just a different take on a game I've played a lot, and um, this was really fun. It was really fun going through all the stages with the speed shoes always on, and uh, yeah, the music was always sped up, but it wasn't that bad. It was, it was just, eh, it was just a sort of a negative side effect of always having the speed shoes on. But anyways, that is the end of the challenge. Up next, we will have the third and final subscriber challenge for this summer. Um, the next one is a lot harder. The, the, the next challenge is definitely one of my uh, difficult challenges. I'm not going to say what it is just yet, but make sure you tune in for that. It, uh, it'll be interesting. And before we leave, I would like to say thanks to Chaos Sigma Zero once again for uh, providing this challenge to me. It was a lot of fun. Uh, he has gave me uh, a number of challenges at this point, I think three, so um, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely one of the veterans of this channel. Anyways, um, I would love to do a Sonic Advance 2 and a Sonic Advance 1 version of this challenge, assuming there's a code for always having the speed shoes on, which I think there should be. I mean, I haven't checked yet, but I'm assuming there is one. And if there is, I will do a Sonic Advance 2 and Sonic Advance 1 version of this challenge. And if not, um, oh well, it's not the biggest loss for me ever. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, uh, a link to Chaos Sigma Zero's channel will be in the description if you want to check him out. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So, until next time, this is UAA signing out. I'll see you guys later.